thought it was raining. Just got done streaming. It was a pretty good time. Um, I need to wash my face now because I still have makeup on. Uh, I'm like, should I tell you guys the story about the girl? What a cliffhanger. Um, I will, will try not to make it a long story, but, uh, basically, um, in high school, me and this girl, we became really good friends because we did, um, wrestling together and like she lived in an apartment and like a very small apartment. Like she was like one of the people that like, you know, you have those friends that you, um, you meet and you become friends with and obviously and they're the ones that like you get into the most amount of trouble with like you know you you sneak out you like you know just all that fun stuff all the fun stuff to get cozy um yeah so she was that person like we hung out all the time we like she had a best friend that like was also really close with me and then um yeah, just all this jazz, okay? So, and, like, my dad, like, would always, like, drive us to, like, wrestling tournaments and, like, would always, like, drive us around if we needed rides and stuff like that, okay? So, um, yeah, like, we hung out all the time. Uh, we also, like, used to do makeup all the time, like, together and, and everything like that. And, you know, we'd trade clothes, we'd borrow them, all this jazz. Like, again, we would get together and, like, you know, just put on makeup and everything like that. And, uh, yeah. So, um, she like, it, she was kind of a, it was very strange how we had her falling out because, um, she got a car. Like I didn't get my license yet because I wasn't really ready to get my license. I didn't need one. I had a bike because I actually really preferred biking. Um, and yeah, so she got a car and, and it was like, she never wanted to hang out anymore. And I would be like, Hey, let's go like, you know, let's go hang out and like, Hey, we'll drive to this place. Like, like maybe because like, like I was down for all the adventures. And then now that she had this responsibility, it was like, she didn't want to like, like deal, like, I don't know, hang, like, it was just really weird. It was like, she didn't want to hang out with me anymore. I don't know if I said anything or did anything. Or she felt like I was using her for her car. Maybe that's why, because, like, I had to, like, you know, go to a place. And I was like, hey, like, like want to drive down here? But we would both go to this place to get stuff. So it, I know that sounds really sketchy, but it's not what you think. But it was like, it's like going grocery shopping. We'd go to this place to get groceries. So I'd be like, hey, I need to grab some stuff. Do you want to go down there? And she'd be like, yeah, give me gas money. And I'm just like, why would I pay you to hang out with me? Like, what? I was like, okay, like, and like, but you know what? I understood, like, gas sucks. Here's, here's your gas money. Like, I gave her money, and she always, like, would remind me, like, oh, like, you know, you owe me gas money. Like, it, it was, like, she was just one of those people that would constantly, like, be like, oh, well, you should do this because I drove you around. And it was like, and it wasn't even a lot either. It was, you know, we'd drive, like, I'd go with her to lunch, and we would go to the grocery store and buy food. And then come back and she's like, give me gas money. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why? Like, you were going there anyway. Like, what? Like, I'm the extra person. Slowed you down a little bit. Should probably give you some fucking gas money. Anyways, it was a long time ago. And I remember, like, even my dad was like, when I told him, he's like, why don't you hang out with so-and-so? And I was like, you know, it was just to a point where she was, like, always asking me for gas money. If, like, God forbid we wanted to go anywhere. My dad's like, she asked you for gas money? He's like, I drove you guys around. And that was out of the goodness of my heart. And I, he's like, I don't mind doing that. And I don't understand why your friend would ask you for gas money. Like, you know, now that I'm older, like, again, my one friend, like, she drives me home because, like, it just sucks to take the SkyTrain sometime. But, like, there, there's times where I'm like, hey, I want to go hiking. Do you want to come with me because you have a vehicle so it's easier and we can hang out and I'll give you gas money to contribute toward the trip. Like, it was just, it was just, anyways, yeah, it was just really weird. So that was kind of, like, the thing. And then it was, like, she would hang out with these two other girls, and she would hang out with them, like, all the time. And, like, I was never invited to those things. 
And not to mention, and like, so they hung out all the time. She would come and pick them up. I don't know if they were giving her gas money. I don't know. But like, she would come and pick them up and they would go, they hung out all the time at school. And the thing was, because she would pick them up and stuff like that, the one girl lived right next door to me. Right next door. I was like, okay, okay. Like, you know. But again, too, people change. Like, you, you hang out with people, you meet new friends, and then you want to hang out with them more. And then your other friend that you apparently didn't care too much about. Whatever. So I was like, I had, I think I was, I had just started dating my new boyfriend too. Yeah. So like, I'm, I'm sure I was a factor in all this for her to do this. But anyways, so the one thing that pissed me off the most, and I remember I was hanging out with like my two friends from high school, like on the island and, and they had mentioned her and I was just like, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I dislike this person very much and they're like why and I was like because she would always try and take credit for stuff that I did okay and like and 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 I'm not over exaggerating it where you know like again with the whole like gas money situation like whatever but when like whenever I did something she would always be like oh well it's because like you're trying to be like me oh you're so cute like look at you taking my style and I'm like Bitch, I was a goth since grade seven. We didn't know each other until grade ten. Like what? And then like we, um, and then another time, like so stuff like that. And then another time, I when I went to school for aesthetics, and I had seen her in in the hallways, and I was like, hey man, like what, like shit, what are you doing here? Because like I don't even know what she was up to because <laughs> we stopped talking. I think she was taking like, she, or she had to, she went back to school to upgrade so that she can go to nursing and stuff like that. Um, because she didn't take any of that in high school because who fucking does unless you already know what you want to do. But yeah. So she sees me and I'm like, yeah, I'm taking aesthetics, like, you know, makeup and like pedicures and manicures. She's like, Oh, cause I got you in the makeup. That's so cute. I'm like, what? Like, and like even my one friend that was there was kind of like, that's such a weird thing to say. And I'm like, I know, like, like, who says that? Like, are you that insecure about yourself that you need to take other people's credits just to, like, just to validate your own self-worth that you're a good person and that you inspire? Like, what? You don't ask for credit. You don't take credit. Credit is given when you deserve it. Like, what the fuck? Like, you know, and yeah, so anyway, so she fucking says this and I'm just like, bitch what and I was and I'm thinking like I've been doing my makeup again since grade seven because I was a goth because I moved and I hated life and all that jazz all that fun stuff so I was like what like do you think us doing makeup together is you showing me the ways of makeup and then like you know no like these are experiences that you have with friends you don't take credit for like what what so anyways so another time was when I had moved out here and this one girl that worked with us, she was doing a competition and she was very, very skinny and she was trying to build muscle and stuff like that. And, uh, and I remember, I don't know, we were talking, she's like, I want you corny. She's like, I really like your biceps. I want you to work out your biceps so much that like, they just like are pumped. And I'm like, all right, cool. (laughs) All right. So I went to the gym and I did like just biceps. That's it. Just maybe some back, but like biceps for like an hour. Like just like did a drop sets like as much as I could to the point where like my jacket was smaller on me leaving that place. Like it, like I, like I, I could probably break it with my bicep and like, I didn't even have to flex for it to like be popped. It was so funny. So I took a picture and tagged during it to be like, I'm like, this is my bicep workout, arm workout, like whatever. And the one girl says trying to be like me and I'm just like why (laughs) like like I'm like I like it's just it's such a weird thing to say and apparently just it just pisses me off because I'm like because for me like I've net like like I if, if I've taken something from someone like I'll let them know I'm like like I'll tell them like yeah you know what when you said this when you've done this it really inspired me and like, so I want you to like you to know that like, you know, you're the reason for this. Like when I self-published my book, like, you know, I 
put a uh, dedication for my one friend and was like, to Jordan, like, no, I will not ever set this book in space because that was like our inside joke, but I dedicated it to him. And he was like, thanks. And like, cause that's like, cause you know, we, me and him had many talks about my book and stuff like that. So that's like, I'm just like, when, when bitches say stuff like that, it just pisses me the fuck off. Cause I'm like, it's such an inappropriate thing to say too. Like, when is it a good, like, some, like, when is it, when is it appropriate? I don't know. But yeah, so that was like the thing with her. And like, when I was doing my makeup, I'm like, God, for fuck a bitch, it's gonna be like, are you trying to be like me? I'm like, when the fuck was the last time you wore makeup? God, oh, you dyed your hair blonde trying to be like me. And I'm like, my hair is naturally blonde. I'm like, what? Like, ah, but she didn't say that. So I'm just now like going over the top, but yeah, so it was just, and I remember telling my friends that, and I was like, I really dislike this person because they used to say this shit to me and, and, you know, and I didn't understand why and it just really pissed me off and they're like, really? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, and they're like, oh, we didn't know that. I'm just like, yeah, fuck this bitch. <laughs> like, whatever. But yeah, so it's just like, you know, what are you going to do? She's going to go along like frolicking and going, I've inspired so many people. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, so, so sorry it was like 10 minutes. I That's me trying to condense the story. But yeah, what can you do?